What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the last upload with a will it start of our old cab over international back there. We're about to get the old girl pulled up here and do a pressure washing video. I know everybody that is like the biggest request out of all the comments. Um, so we're gonna get pulled up here in just a second, but I do have to show you guys White Lightning's new freaking American racing wheels. I know some people are gonna give them some hate, but I like the classic look. So we're gonna get this thing started up, get some air pressure built and get it pulled up here so we can start pressure washing her. So guys, while we're waiting on the air pressure to build, we'll give you a little bit of a rundown of the truck. It's really not in bad shape. It needs a really good cleaning. It's just got you know, stuff from sitting wild. This piece right here was got like cup holder stuff is a little loose. Um, this cover goes right here over these switches. It needs to be fixed. Um, but the back of the cab, the sleeper is in really good shape. They get rid of the old mattress and get rid of the old blankets, stuff like that. But the headliner is all good. It's an overall, it's a really good shape, guys. So we are gonna be fixing this baby up. Just waiting on some air pressure build so we can release these brakes and get her pulled up there to wash it. All right, guys, so first things first, we're gonna use our super clean. I've got mixed up in my five gallon pump sprayer right here and get this thing completely soaked with all this specialty greaser before we start pressure washing. We wanna get this stuff sprayed on there so it can sit and soak into all this mold. So, hold tight. I'm gonna get her coated up. There we go. Well guys, I got one side completely coated like you just seen. I, what I'm gonna do is pressure wash one half of it so we can just see just how freaking dirty this thing is. We're not gonna mess with the wind uh, aerodynamic piece up there. I don't know what you guys wanna call it, but whatever, the big, we'll call it the big thing on top. We're not gonna mess with that. I'm gonna unbolt that, so I'm not worried about pressure washing it. So I'm gonna get the truck pressure washed and just so we can uh, start knocking dents in this thing and make it look good again. So there you have it guys, we got one side done, and man what a difference already. Now we're gonna move on to this side.
Okay guys, so you guys have been on me about saying all right guys. So here we go. A super clean, huge shout out to these guys for sending us all these cleaning materials and cleaning chem I'm sorry, cleaning chemicals. Cause man, look at the freaking cab over international boys. Things clean up, not too, not too bad. Definitely gonna have a paint job, but clean up, not too bad. I'm still learning a lot on these. So guys, try to take it easy on me. Um, I can work on just about anything as most of you seen, but I'm not too familiar with semi stuff. So I really want to learn. So that's kind of why I got it. Um, I don't know what size Cummins it's got in. I know it's got a big one. Uh, it's got a nine speed transmission. You guys seen the interior. That'd be the next thing we clean. The super clean chemicals are definitely doing their job. You can see how clean it is now. Oh, well, it looks better on camera than it does in real life, but uh, it's definitely cleaning up really well. So ooh, it looks like it does have heated mirrors too. Dang, that's fancy y'all, that's fancy fancy. On the way home, a lot of you wanted to see the video. I did catch a tree and bust the top. We tried doing our best to avoid it. Taking a lot of uh, big highways, but we did catch one, which is no big deal. It's coming off anyways. It didn't hurt the cab. I did get there and check it. So um, the next video you guys will be watching will be us unbolting the top up there, pressure washing the back, trying to get the fifth wheel freed up. It's been sitting for a while. It's got a automatic slider there. So hopefully the chrome on that cylinder isn't torn up too bad. Uh, what that does, it basically unlocks the fifth wheel so you can slide it front to back depending on what kind of load you've got. And we're going to be getting all of the limbs and stuff cleaned out of here. And uh, I've already got a hook on some used 24.5 wheels to go on it. So that's exciting. I've got to find, probably gonna put some virgin rubber on it. But lots of, lots of big things in the works. Just not sure what's going to happen yet. A lot of people have been asking where my little brother is. He's up hunting in the woods and he's working two jobs. It's been kind of crazy. He's trying to save him some money to buy a new truck. But here is the cab over. We need some name suggestions, guys. So drop some comments. What kind of names you think we should name our cab over. But the top's definitely coming off. That thing's freaking hideous. Also, if you're new to the channel, guys, my name is Bruce Wilson. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We do lots of old stuff like this. Lots of cool content. And go to brucewilsonshop.com. Grab your Make Triders Great Again t-shirts with Bruce Wilson. Awesome, awesome stuff. So I'm going to get back to pressure washing this side of it. And that will pretty much be a wrap for today's video. So uh, subscribe to the new channel, guys. We're gonna get to back to work. Well guys, we're pretty much gonna call it a wrap for today's video on the pressure washing. I do have some questions for a lot of my semi people, my, especially my cab over guys. Um, since we're removing the air deflector up top, do I need to remove these air deflector extensions right here? It looks like they're kind of an extension on the cab and they bolt up back here. I was looking on the internet, a lot of cab overs don't have those on them anymore. So I need you guys to tell me whether or not I should leave those on there or pull them off. I don't know. Also, the cab jack 
I'm gonna replace one of the hydraulic lines on it so we'll be able to jack the cab up in the next video hopefully that's the goal we're gonna get back here and pressure wash all this and we'll get the cab folded forward um, we'll be able to pull all this stuff off the top of it and pressure wash the top of the cab also and one last time guys huge shout out to super clean for supplying us with the cleaning chemicals to get this bad girl all cleaned up um, we're definitely starting to look a lot better we're gonna try to get someone out here to do the cleaning on the interior I absolutely freaking hate cleaning interiors on vehicles so I've got a guy that's super good he's gonna come out and spend the day with me we're gonna try to get the tanks pulled off of this thing in the next couple weeks and get them cleaned up this tank smashed he thinks he might be able to get it fixed I don't know but if you guys have any tips or tricks on how to undo a tank definitely let me know down in the comments so interior gonna start working on this very very soon I tell you what guys now it's clean you can actually see out of the windows now <laughs> pretty nice I think the windshield wipers do work someone was asking about that let's see here we go I gotta put some air to it hang on a second okay everyone so the truck does have an air leak somewhere inside the cab I'm gonna have to find and fix which kind of operates. You can see the windshield wiper over there trying to work. Let's see. Yeah, there she goes. Um, it's over there trying to work, but we've got an air leak somewhere in the cab I'm gonna have to fix because the airbag seat doesn't like staying up and it leaks the um, main air pressure on air tank two for the brakes and stuff like that is working and holding pressure overnight. So that's good. It does leak down after a couple days, but you know, air leaks are to be expected with a truck's been sitting this long. All these hoses are plastic, so we're going to have to replace a lot of them. And while digging, I did find the freaking owner's manual. So there it is. It's got an NT855-88 Big Cam Cummins. Cool. It doesn't tell us what year the Cummins is, though, or which one it is. So it could be a Big Cam 4 or a Big Cam 3. I don't know. So those are my couple questions guys if you don't mind drop some comments down below and answer those for me about the extensions on there if we should take those off or leave them on i'm not sure but top is definitely coming off if you guys enjoyed the power washing video like you all asked for make sure you smash the like button comment down below on what we should do next i already told you guys what we're doing next so get ready for that and subscribe to the channel guys my name is bruce wilson we will catch you guys later peace out